Hello, my dear Carbon Lifeforms, a video welcome for the first time to Dolbor channel. Today we will have our second tutorial video to assist you in creating your own custom action figure. This time we will create a saboteur that belongs to the course, the evil faction in Lenard's The Core Universe. For the creation of this new custom, we will use as a base the Geo's action figure and we'll mix it with parts coming from other three different figures. We will employ for starters the trunk of a Chapmay soldier that used to have swivel arms and legs, and a couple of grey casted legs coming from a Kids Connection Dino Hunter figure. Lastly, we will also employ the head of a SWAT cop, part of a design by Chapmay. For this custom, we will increase the level of difficulty by having to add waist articulation to an otherwise fixed trunk and by having to nest the bow jointed arms into the chest of our custom. Last but not least, we will craft a pistol holster made out of styrene sheet plastic. If you are ready, we will start by unscrewing and taking the figures apart. Once we separated the lower central section, we will dip it into boiling water. Two minutes will suffice for the species to be real soft. Once taken from the water, we will pull the legs out of our central hold up, mostly effortless. As we are left with a hollow crotch, we will use our pliers to separate the crotch into two halves. Once we have done so, we will place a new couple of legs into the crotch and start tricking and testing for the right fit. Not too loose, as to put the figure in danger of falling, but also not too tight, as it might risk articulation movement. Next, we will work onto the trunk. As you can tell, its original figure had only swivels for articulation. If we attach the ball jointed arms with this present setting, they will be too loose and apart from the central chest. In order to correct that, we will use a rotary tool to create hollow spaces that will hold most of a spheric section in the articulation. We check over and over the corrected position of shoulders up to the point they fit snugly, and then we will cut the lower part of a trunk. We send a little, check the general position of pieces, and make another hole for the D section in the crotch. As we finish down drilling, we would use a small amount of epoxy clay to fill up the holes we just made, thus creating holdings for the T-sections in our articulated limbs. We repeat three times and check that the clay is holding properly without impeding the articulation's movement over its clay beds. We let them rest. As epoxy hardens, we'll get rid of a yellow paint applications over the arms by wetting a cotton swath with acetone. We will also use a grey primer to spray the color base of a lower half of a body. Once the epoxy is hardened, you will be able to see that it holds properly our new limbs. We will repeat the process with the second half of a trunk by placing limbs onto the first half and closing down both pieces together to mold the proper shape onto the new clay. We will clean the axis, let it dry, and then apply the base color for the best. We will also paint black both the utility belt and the arms in order to keep color shades in line with one another. As base colors dry up, we will start detailing the figure from the boots up to the camo, suspenders and other parts of a figure. Next, we will create our pistol holster. We will use a styrene sheet with a 2mm thickness, which is sturdy and will hold our accessory without problems. We will use as a reference the general measurements of a pistol, cutting three pieces and shaping them as a box by fitting them together with super glue. We check that the holster is in line with the leg's proportion. To create a peg for the holster, we will cut a section from a plastic sprue and we will size it properly for fitting both the leg and the holster together. 
we will drill holes on both pieces and use super glue to fit the peg into the holster. Prior to painting, we test that the piece is working. And that's it, we now have a new saboteur for our decor collection. As you can see, it has a vibe that is pretty near to Infamous Firefly, yet the look of a figure places it apart from any confusion with the character. We ended up with a figure that has a swivel articulation in its head, a bait a little hindered by the vest, two ball jointed arms that spin 360 degrees vertically and also open and close. The figure has another 360 degree turn by the elbows and is able to open and close its lower arms. We now have an articulation at the waist and two crotch articulations for the legs, which reach almost 90 degrees. Knees also turn mostly 90 degrees. As accessories go, we have included a Galil assault rifle, a Remington M1911A1 sidearm, and the tactic holster that we just created and can be detached at any given time. Lastly, we have provided this saboteur with a backpack to carry around all of his explosives and tools of a trade. This will be all for today's video. We hope that you have found this tutorial fun and useful. We have edited the process in favor of speediness, but if you have any particular questions, commentaries, praises, or anything else you'd like to share, please do so in YouTube's commentaries. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, this will be a good moment to do so. Thanks, and see you sooner than soon. This is the end of our video. Your friend, Dr. Mind, thanks you for your time and social interactions. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel in YouTube, follow us on Facebook, purchase one of our products in eBay, and support us in Patreon so that we can continue on making these videos and launch once and for all our own line of action figures. And remember, my dear carbon-based lifeforms, impossible is what we can dream of. Peace, and see you next time.